Hello, welcome, God bless. So this one is having it all, the real ID, fe females and homelessness. Um, you wouldn't think being a male versus a female would really affect getting an ID, but it does, especially with this new ID, um, or the real ID, which really sucks. Um, it really needs to be appealed before 2020. The likelihood of that happening is zilch. Um, but there is a significant difference between men and women. Um, women are having to prove whether they're married or not. Even if they've been divorced forever, they have to bring in their divorce certificate. Um, I know my mother has been told, and it's crazy because the state, the federal government, they already have, they have so much information on us. I mean, if you want to think they don't, they really do. They, they have a ludicrous amount of information on us. I know I have a family member who is adopted. He has met his birth mother. <laughs> yeah, he, he was a typical adoptee. Um, I'm not, you're not part of my family until he met his birth mother. And then it was like, you people are part of my family. You are my family. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he actually had a medical emergency a few years back. His best friend has high clearance within the government. He did not want to be in contact with his birth mother. And um, his friend did have the clearance to look her up and the other children that she has had and found out not only all their health information, but um, a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, he never did have to call her. Um, thankfully, he has a friend with clearance. Um, so I just find this ridiculous that citizens, male and female alike, have to prove their citizenship like 10 times over. I mean, we're not demanding this of the invaders. They don't have to. Are you, are you really telling me that these invaders coming up are coming with their birth certificates, marriage certificates, divorce certificates? This is what's being placed on us. And when you're a female in America, and a citizen, they want you to prove why your last name has changed. And it's really crazy because even if you don't change it once you're divorced, they still want proof. I have a friend, um, she lived in Cali. She wound up moving out of it a couple years ago to a state that is already enforcing real ID. Um, she got married like at 18, 19. Her husband completely abandoned her and the kids by the time she was like 21, 22. When she moved out of Cali, she was like late 60s, early 70s. And the state she moved to was demanding that they that she proved her divorce with the certificate. And she's just like, what? It was like decades ago. Like, I don't have that. Um, I know my mother, she has been, her and my father has been married almost 50 years. She is now having to prove that she's married to my father. Uh, they were born in America. They have spent their entire life in America. They were married in America. And yet she's having to prove why her last name changed. Um, it's just ludicrous. So this is definitely an extra hoop that women are having to jump through to be in good standings with this nation. There is no alternative to not getting the ID. There is no... Whether you have an ID or a license, it has to be real. Um, businesses such as banks will not work with you if your ID is expired. So you can say all you want, oh, I'm going to fight this, I'm not going to, I just won't renew it. Well, that's going to really screw you over trying to do s simplistic things in your world. And if you do not get the real ID or real license, um, that means you cannot take domestic flights within America. It also means you cannot um, enter federal buildings, which I'm not sure if that like includes federal property like buildings and lands or just buildings, but there is a thing where you cannot enter federal federal places. And the government, you know, especially in the West, like what is that Wyoming? Like forty eight percent is owned by the federal government. Um so this is, I mean, and they're talking about, you know, stops, like compliance stops to prove who you are, which, I mean, if you're driving through Wyoming, that could be really problematic. This is also the real ID is a real problem for homeless, especially females. Um, 
you're less likely to have documentation of who you are, especially if you're street homeless. And I mean, if we are having issues, a massive issue is having your birth certificate and such on you. And now with the real ID, you're supposed to have residency, which we don't have. And now they want proof of divorce and marriages. I mean, between having things get lost and having things stolen from you when you're on the streets, um, this real ID is really unacceptable. It pits the pressure it puts on actual citizens is totally unacceptable um and the pressures it puts on females and homeless is more than what's being being put on men i mean across the board it sucks across the board it needs to be illegalized um but yeah in case you haven't realized the pressure of the real id is there are more more demands on females and and really homeless because you're you're demanding to prove your existence in your very own nation that you're likely will not have and i mean really who i don't know who hangs on to a divorce to forget i mean i don't know at least a couple especially the really nasty divorces it's like they don't want to hold on to anything from that time in their life but but already i'm gonna go bye bye